What's up guys? Welcome back to Jungle. Back to another video and in today's video you guys can see my hair is all crazy and my life's kind of crazy. Honestly, by the title of this video you guys know what is going on. Yes, I did actually trade my FADM3 for a clean title E92 328i 2010. Now before I actually get into this video, please smash that like button because this is one of those things that I just can't fake. Like it's crazy and I absolutely love this story and the way everything happens. And I actually really want to tell this story and at the same time show you guys the new whip and our new plans for the new whip because it's the new daily. I don't know if you guys know the gas prices are super crazy. So a 328i is valued more than an FADM3. No, yeah, that's definitely a lie. <laughs> but at the same time, I didn't just take an E92 328. We did get some cash, so don't worry, guys. So two days ago, as you guys know, I always end up selling my cars cheaper than they're meant to be. I mean, that car is an individual, one of 59, and the only 2016 Atlantis Blue ever made. That was the first Atlantis Blue F80 ever made, and everyone else copied that one because if you guys look at the individual color code on like sheets, whatever, there was only one 2016, which is the one that I had, and there was pretty much a bunch of other models. Mine was a salvage title, mine was totaled out, repaired, fixed up, and then issued a rebuilt title, um, which basically means all inspections were done on the car and everything is perfect on that car, but obviously you can't get a clean title. If it's been an accident that was really bad, it's an accident. But long story short, I don't know what to value a salvage title. And not only that, I don't know what to value my own cars. For some reason, whenever I sell my cars, I tend to devalue my cars. Just because I was like, you know what, I want to quick sell it so I can move on to the next build and bring you guys some more content. That's pretty much my main goal of YouTube, is to constantly get new builds and constantly enjoy new cars. But at the same time, I'm sacrificing my cars and I'm pretty much giving a bunch of free mods and uh, you know, end of the day, if I sell it to a follower, I'm kind of happy because you guys support me. You guys getting all the free mods on the car is a huge plus, and I'm just trying to sell the car at I guess somewhat salvage market value. But this one in particular, as you guys saw from the video, I didn't really want to sell the F80 M3. This car is literally a dream. Like you have the manual gearbox, the carbon roof, the individual paint job, the crank hub is done, red interior, had all the options I want to I would want to put in it. We put in the heads up display, backup camera, Apple CarPlay, we have extended red leather, the competition seats. I made that car in a way that I really wanted to just keep the car because I absolutely loved it. But you know, with life, um, you definitely need to just keep moving forward so you can achieve bigger things in life. But yeah, let me just tell you guys the story. So four days ago, I think four days ago, some guy actually came down here with an, he came with his own F80 competition and he was getting my F80 non-comp for his dad. So he actually came with 40K cash and he was like, hey, would you take 40? I was like, no, the lowest I'll do is 42. He's like, are you sure? He pulls out the backpack, 40K cash. And I was like, you know, he does have the cash. It'd be a quick sell. We can get the next build on the channel screw it like honestly i don't even know why i had this in my head and this is why it's all a learning experience why i shouldn't always just take the first offer i have learned from this and I'm super happy I didn't take it end of the day. Well, technically I almost did take it um, because what was crazy is we went down to the bank together. Um, I gave the bank tell the 40K and she said, actually it's not 40K, it's 38K. And the guy was pretending like, no, it is 40K, double check. So long story short, he basically tried finessing me $2,000 because he knew I probably wasn't gonna count the 40K in the garage. Anywho, long story short, this guy, this guy that ended up coming to get this car hit me up and he was like, hey bro, would you hold the car for me? So since that day, that other guy kind of like screwed me over. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take it off the market. I'm gonna keep it because I absolutely love this car. No need to sell it. But if this guy ends up coming through, it's a pretty good deal. He wanted to offer me an E92 2010 328 um, with like apparently had some kind of damage history. So I thought it was a salvage title and um, and I, I, I 38.5 or something like that. So I'm giving you guys these numbers because I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. And don't you guys do any funny business. The money's in the bank, all right? So yeah. So I was in my head, I was like, if you come, you come. I'll sell it to you if you end up coming through. If not, I'm gonna keep the car. Honestly, like the, for me, 40 is not worth that FADM3 with only 40,000 miles and my dream spec. I would just wanna keep it on the side of the garage and uh, you know, we could probably figure out some other builds that we can make in the progress for the R8 because the F80, I absolutely loved. And 40 wasn't gonna cut it, to be honest. So anywho, the day comes, Monday comes, 7 a.m., I get a text message from this guy, one of you guys, a follower, and uh, you know, I was like, you know, yeah, okay, he said he's on his way, I'm like, okay, you're on your way, that's great. So if he shows up, he shows up. Again, I'm not really tripping anymore because I've already pretty much made peace with it, I'm keeping the car. Ends up, a couple hours later, he texts me saying, hey, I'm stopping by the bank near your house, getting the cash, coming over to your house. I'm like, 
Okay, all right, looks like it's getting kind of real. A little bit later, I don't get any text from him, I'm like, okay. But then he ends up knocking on my door. And the first thing I noticed when I opened that door is that this guy was a follower from like, but back in the day, like when I first went to my first, Be we met at Beamer Fest, which if you guys don't know, Beamer Fest hasn't been open for the last two years. So three years ago, I met him at Beamer Fest, probably with like literally 20 or 30,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, he was a supporter then, and he's still a supporter now. And I recognized him, and I instantly just felt in peace, and I was happy. I was like, okay, it's one of you guys. I met you guys before. I saw some random dude that's gonna literally lowball me in person. So I was really happy to see him. We talked a little bit, and uh, long story short, he told me at the front door, we didn't even come to see my car. I didn't even go to see his car. He's like, where's the papers at? Let's do the transaction. I was like, what? No, hold up, hold up. You need to go see the F80. Make sure you love the car, because this is a big transaction. A Little bit later, guys, I show him the car. He shows me his car. For me, in my head, I was like, if I'm getting a uh, you know, good amount of money, whatever the condition of the E92 328 is gonna be, I'm not really gonna care. As long as it runs and drives, which it did, it made it all the way down from LA, we can make it look good, we can modify it as the new daily on the YouTube channel. I mean, I love the E92 chassis. I would love to make a daily out of it. I think it'd be super sick. Maybe you throw some M3 parts into it and make it the best 328i daily ever. So I was already having my full plans list for this car and I was like, you know what? Any condition it's in, don't even worry about it. I love it. Uh, he was like, I'm gonna actually do you a favor. And I was like, okay. He's like, I'm gonna give you what you're asking for for the car. He doesn't pull out the money that we talked about. He pulls out a little bit more money. And at that exact moment, I was like, eh, is this a scam? You know, like, I can't really, like, why would you pay more? You know, like, at the same time, I, I just didn't, I didn't get it, you know? So I was like, you know, um, we should probably go down to the bank, get this uh, put in the bank and just see, you know, you know, and just let's put it in the bank. If it works, it works. So we go down to the bank, that's the first thing. He was like, of course, let's go do it. So we go to the bank, he was really cool about it. Again, very nice guy. And we deposit it, I mean, we go to the bank and I was like, before I actually did it, I walked up to him, like, are you sure you wanna do this? And he's like, yes. I really want to do this and I'm like okay so I deposited the amount that I actually originally wanted for the car and mind you guys I'm getting a 328 also so we deposit the money the money ends up hitting my account I'm like wow this is real this guy is legit this guy is a true supporter and I really appreciate him and he valued my car and what it's meant to be valued and he wasn't taking my BS about trying to sell a car way cheaper than it needs to be. That car has over 15,000, I would say 10 to 15,000 dollars in um, you know, tastefully modifications, OEM modifications, and then not to mention the car is already an individual in a very rare spec. So he didn't let it go. He didn't, he didn't, I guess he just didn't want me to sell it that cheap. He, he values it highly. He appreciates, I guess, the, the channel. And again, at the same time, I really do appreciate him for that. A little bit comes by, we come to the house, and I noticed the title does not say salvage or rebuilt on it. The title to the 328 was a clean title. I was like, hey, bro, by the way, I, I'm sorry. I actually valued your car at this price because I thought it was a salvage title. It's a clean title. Do you, should we go get the money back out of the bank? Because I'm not gonna load all you like this. He's like, no. I actually didn't know it was a clean title, but it is yours. It is yours to keep. I want. I haven't been driving this car whatsoever. I want you to enjoy the car. Bring it on the YouTube channel. Do your thing as the new daily, whatever. And uh, you know, end of the day, I, as long as you're happy and I'm happy, you know, that's you know, we're both happy. And I was like, you know, of all the cars I've sold in the years, and I'm telling you guys, I probably sold a lot over the years. Um, this is the only transaction that I've ever done that I felt like I got what my car is worth. Like I was actually happy with the transaction and he's like, you know, blessed me beyond blessed and I truly appreciate him. Um, I went ahead and sh I shot him a follow. I'm gonna follow up with the build because he's gonna be building the F80. Um, he wanted to put all the, you know, engine modifications and do all this stuff. So I'm gonna follow up on his build and uh, probably repost it whenever he's posting it. But I truly appreciate him for that. So anyway, we come inside trying to do the paperwork, swipe, uh, you know, I'm signing off a title and he's signing off a title to me and I find out his name is Kareem. Now, if you guys don't know, not that this, this story is any crazy as it's already been, the guy's a very generous person. Again, he's, he really is looking out for my best interest, and uh, at the same time, he's not valuing my cars any lower than it's supposed to be. He literally says, my name is Kareem, and I was like, are you serious? Like, it's crazy. Like, I believe in God, and I believe in blessings, and I believe this guy was a blessing brought into my life. And uh, he said, my name is, uh, for those of you guys who don't know what Kareem is, Kareem is translated as generous. The, the definition of his name is generous. And I was like, as soon, and he didn't, I didn't even have to ask him for his definition. I just knew what it was. And I was like, that's crazy, that's crazy. So in my mind, I'm just like, I'm just literally being blessed. And to me, it's kind of like one of those things where I was thinking like, 
you know, with the i3, don't screw over anybody and God will bless you back. That's truly what I believe. And with the i3, um, everyone told me to sell that car at the auction, slap on that front bumper, cover up that frame damage, just run and drive and just sell it at auction. When I mean everyone, I mean literally like everyone I talked to about that car told me it was a mistake not throwing on that front bumper. For me, you know, they told me you got screwed over, it's auction, throw it back on there, somebody else gets screwed over, they'll just put it back on auction. No harm, no foul, this is the name of the game, um, whatever, right? For me, I was like, I, I, the impression that I got when I bought the car, like sunk into my heart. I, when I found out that I had frame damage, I was very upset and I knew I made a financially bad decision and I did not want to put anyone else in that predicament. I was like, I want you to see the damage and if you've been on it, you know the damage and you're buying it because of some other reason for a part out or something else. You're not buying it um, and overpaying for it when it actually has damage that you never knew about. Because if I stopped on a front bumper, run and drive, you know, I fixed up pretty much most of the airbags. People would think that literally just needs a few little things, paint on the front bumper and it's good to go. But then they end up finding out that it needs a whole new front frame rail and uh, for that car, guys, it costs money. So anywho, I feel like this is just kind of one of those things that since I was a good person, which I, I just like to kind of think of it that way, I've been blessed by meeting this guy. And honestly, he just he also just taught me a lesson to like not devalue my things. And that's what I'm gonna start doing from here on out. A lot of you guys always tell me, Nora, you're selling your cars too cheap. If you think about the labor hours, think about all the modifications, you're literally selling it at market value without those two parts. And I'm like, I don't know, like if, as long as, you know, I, I, I sell to a follower, he gets a nice car, he's happy, happy and then I get to move on and start with a new build, I'm happy. But end of the day, I was never really truly happy because I was losing a lot of money. But anywho, long story short, again, this is a long video of me talking and it's just because it's, it's a crazy like situation. I honestly, I, I don't know, like I'm speechless. I'm still speechless. I have a 328i in the garage. I took it out to In-N-Out. I took it out to Starbucks and it drives. It drives really nice. It has some modifications to it. And uh, we're gonna be starting to do some things to that car pretty soon, but primarily we sold the F80, so we are looking for a new build as well. Um, so I'm really stoked about that. So I guess not to make this video boring, let's go ahead and get into the garage and show you guys the new beast. So the previous owner that gave me this car and again the money for my F80 M3, um, he really didn't drive this car much. Like he ended up getting this car, he has a fully built F30, I mean uh, E30 um, coupe that has like the M motor and everything. He's done like crazy stuff to it, that's his baby. And he wanted something more luxury as a daily. So that's why, I ended up, why he ended up picking up my F80 M3. This car honestly never drove it, he drove his work van. He's like, honestly, forget about this thing. I don't, I don't really, uh, I, it just doesn't drive it. So I was like, honestly, I love the E92 chassis. I think it's a beautiful chassis. I think it has an age whatsoever. It's a beautiful car. And I was really excited to see it. He actually did a lot of nice modifications to it. It's on H&R lowering springs. It's got powder coated black wheels. Um, these are actually Masterminds' headlights. Uh, so as you guys can see, it's got the U's on both sides, honeycomb on the inside. You guys saw how bright those were. It has the top stripe on the top, carbon fiber on the inside, and then the Masterminds logo right there on the side. These are like $1,500 headlights alone. So I'm really happy to see those. Now the only negative thing is because of these, I believe these super bright lights, um, it's it literally damaged the lens. So that's like a little defect, I guess, with these headlights is that um, these are so bright that it makes the lens just age way faster than it's supposed to be. Like this this texture, I feel like if I sand it, it's gonna go right through. Like this is, this pretty much just needs all new lenses. But again, the headlights are awesome. The front bumper is actually a paint match M3 style front bumper. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of M3 style front bumpers, but honestly guys, I'm super happy to see anything other than stock. Stock bumpers suck unless it's an M Sport. Um, so this honestly looks a lot nicer. Um, a bunch of paint peeled down there, so it looks like you might have to either get this bumper repainted, or I might actually throw an M Sport on here. It is a new daily, and I really wanna make this thing look as good as possible. Now he does have M3 style carbon fiber mirror caps. It has shown age, but what's super nice is that all the OEM parts are actually in the trunk. The OEM springs, um, the OEM mirror caps, all that stuff is in the trunk, even the OEM brakes. He actually just recently upgraded the brakes to drill slotted rotors. So the original brakes are in the truck, the original lights, everything. According to him, I actually have not even opened the trunk yet. So um, yeah. Well, actually I lied. I opened the trunk just throwing the license plates because I actually did 
Same day as him, we went to the, the DMV together basically. He got the F80 registered under his name before his long trip back home, because again, he came from LA. And uh, for me, um, I ended up getting this thing registered at the same time. So this thing's already under my name, uh, registered it and everything. So everything's gravy in the Navy, already got tags, plates, everything's good. So um, yeah, this is a fully functioning daily. And considering gas prices right now, guys, a 328 is not a bad idea. I was getting 22 MPG yesterday, and I was one happy man. <laughs> so other modifications, guys, got the M3 color match side skirts. Um, honestly, love these side skirts. They look great on this car, um, and I'm really happy that's already paint matched. That looks great on there. Again, lowered on some lowering springs. It has aftermarket LCI tail lights. I'm not a huge fan of the aftermarket ones because they're not really red. As you can see, it's like more pink, and then over here, it's like red, pink. Um, aftermarket ones, I mean, they're still way nicer than OEM, uh, but I'll probably end up upgrading those as well. I'm just happy they came like that. Those are worth some good money on there, so I'm really stoked about that. And then obviously, guys, we got the new plates, the new tags, and the save a BMW because this thing is going to look so, so, so good once it's complete. It also has a carbon fiber wing on it. Um, I probably give away most of these modifications since he's blessed me. I'm going to bless a lot of you guys. Whatever that's in this trunk, I'm just going to say right now is a giveaway. All you like, I'm literally either going to post it on my website. You guys either pay shipping or come pick it up locally. Everything that's in this trunk is for you guys, including all the stuff that I'm going to take off. Probably like this wing, um, possibly these tail lights. I, I have, I'll probably have a friend that's going to want those. So I'm probably going to give that to a friend and bless them with that. These mirror caps, I don't really know if I'm going to end up keeping them or not but even though i don't think it's really worth anything or any guys really want that i mean i guess you could technically respray it and you have kind of that thing but i saw these on ebay they're not going for crazy much money so uh yeah i'll probably just leave that the front bumper um i might even do a giveaway on that as well just because i believe you can get m sports for i don't know if m sports are still on the market if they're on the market i'll get m sports if there's you know an m <laughs> m sport shortage i'll probably just stick with this bumper just get it repainted um the grills i actually love the double dim grills absolutely love them the headlights love Love them. The wheels, honestly, after powder coating, they look amazing. Lowering springs, keeping that. Side skirts, love it. Coming around to the interior, guys, it is the black interior, which I was super happy to see. Again, mind you guys, I knew nothing about this car, and I was just going to take a 328 regardless because I needed it daily. And uh, he was a really good owner. He got the recalls done, so brand new airbag there, um, brand new wiring, all that stuff's been situated. Um, actually, all the maintenance, guys, has been done. Again, the previous owner just took really good care of this car. Oil filter housing, gaskets done, coolant replaced, um, oil pan done, valve cover done. And like pretty much all the major oil and even even when I looked at that I'm like wow like really really well maintained um, so this car has seen a lot of love and it's gonna continue getting a lot of love here on this channel um, if you guys are wondering what these wires are right here I believe that's for the uh, aftermarket headlights not a huge fan of that might end up cleaning that up um, as well but yeah coming around to the interior you guys know I'm a perfectionist and I'm probably gonna end up swapping out these seats this interior probably be throwing some m3 interior in here but let me know if you guys want to see that down below this steering wheel honestly looks pretty cool with this carbon fiber wrap thing but i'm probably gonna go end up getting like an m3 steering wheel in here um again because i just love m3 parts or even just m sport like m sport uh this seats i might just change up the color this just looks kind of dated but these are sports seats and i'm really happy it has sports seats again i'm actually not complaining once over with this car guys this car is a blessing i mean like i, I constantly think about if i took the deal two days prior I would not have this car. So I'm, every time I sit in this car, guys, I'm just so happy and I'm so blessed and I'm just super thankful. Um, and I honestly love this car. The 328 chassis is one of those E92 cars um, that I just absolutely love. But yeah, guys, looking around, the dead pedal definitely needs to be replaced. Um, the carpets actually, um, they all need to be replaced. So something that's unfortunate, that's an ongoing issue with this car, is the fact that the water, the drainage, is getting inside the car. So it's a problem um, that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. What I ended up testing is that I actually poured some water on that side and that side, and the water wasn't going down the drainage. So we need to figure out a way to unclog the drainage. If any of you guys know how to do that properly, let me know down below. As you guys can see over there, I did try some things and it didn't really work to be honest. So that's why this car is actually gonna be in the garage until I figure out a way to fix that because I don't want much new water in the car. Once we figure out the whole drainage situation and fix the drainage situation, then we're gonna probably get throw in new carpets in this car as well. So this thing is gonna get a whole new life. <laughs> I think we're, it's gonna look so good. We're gonna do a full transformation. Super happy as well. It has the CIC, it does have a CCC controller um, but it has a CIC nav so if you can just swap out this controller with the CIC one it's gonna work just great and then this trim is wrapped um, but I think we're gonna go ahead and unwrap it and get some m3 trim or just aluminum trim I think it looks better than that the actual wrap itself is high quality wrap but you guys know wrap over time just ends up peeling so again we're gonna do a lot of little things to this car but but for the most part guys it is a running and driving 328 with no lights on the dash obviously the brake lights on 
uh, seatbelt's on because the e-brake's up and then, you know, seatbelt's not on. But other than that, literally no lights on the dash. It does have a uh, turn light issue. And I think it's because of the aftermarket tail lights. I think we just need to get that car coded with Carly, like a voltage code. Um, not a big deal. And then other than that, it's gonna have no codes on the dash. Again, the CIC, I love the CIC. Like my favorite thing ever. Black Gatera makes the dash black. So I'm super happy about that as well. And like I said, guys, I'm just super happy to be in this car. Uh, shout out to Kareem, he's the man. Honestly, he made a huge smile on my face. I'm just I'm just super happy, honestly. So what you guys hear there as well is not a stock exhaust. It actually has a muffler delete and a resonator delete. So yeah, those are two more things that I've done to this car. Uh, but I think at this point, guys, we should crack open the trunk. I really, we're gonna be doing a lot of modifications to this car. I'm gonna be bringing it up in videos down the road. Um, but I think we should pop open the trunk so we can see uh, what else he's got for you guys technically, because whatever that's in there is for you guys. He said he kept all the original stuff in there and some other things as well. So whatever that's in there, I'm saying it right now, guys, is yours. <laughs> okay, what is in, oh my God, guys. Guys, check it out, we got so much things in here. The only thing I did is literally threw in the new license plate on this side. I noticed all these boxes, I didn't touch any of them. I don't really know what's in any of these. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the, oh my God, what is that big old spider? Oh my Lord, I need to get that out of there right now. All right guys, I got rid of that spider. I kind of just blew it off with a blow. I mean, I'm really hoping there's no other big spiders in here. I am spooked, <laughs> I hate big old spiders. Uh, let's go ahead and just start taking everything out of the trunk. Probably needs a detail as well so we can just get um, all these spiders out of here. Oh my lord. Woo. All right, now that we have you guys set up, let's go ahead and see what's in this trunk. Hopefully there's no spiders and I open up these boxes. I'm actually kind of terrified. So first things first, oh my god. Uh, okay, so this box right over here, I'm like excited but also scared for my life. Uh, so it looks like we have some grills in here. These grills, yeah, these are the original um, chrome grills. So uh, again, if any of you guys need some original chrome grills, hit me up on Instagram for local pickup. I can send this out. Or if you guys want to pay for shipping, um, this would probably cost about like, I would say about $15 to ship out. So uh, hit me up if you guys want that. Next thing in here is this little box by ECS. Um, I don't know, yeah, it doesn't look like an ECS box, but looks like we got some brake pads in here. Um, actually, he's got a lot of life in these. So these are some brake pads. Looks like the original brake pads that were on the car. Um, no spiders in here, so that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, these brake pads, I'd say about, has about 50 to 70% life in them. So if you guys need some brake pads, there you go. It looks like this is the pulley. I don't know, I mean, I think these are all the original parts. Yeah, so these are all the original parts the previous owner has did to this car. So we know the pulley has been replaced, which I'm assuming the belt has been replaced as well. Um, this I'm probably just gonna end up throwing out mainly because probably no good there. The brakes though had a lot of life in them. So I am gonna be leaving those for you guys. Uh, opening this box up. Yeah, these brake pads for the for the, for the the rears, I would say about, has about 60% brake life in them. So if you guys are trying to save some money and are local, uh, these brake pads are for you guys and just a bunch of receipts in here, nothing else left. So I guess the next thing is the, the elephant in the room, which is the big old box. Let's go ahead and get this guy out again. Terrified for my life right here. <laughs> oh man, okay, I see some webs. This ain't looking too good. But the question is, what about us? There's two big spiders in here. I mean, typically I feel like one would just take over and then they kill the others, I feel like, right? I think. All right, taking out this big old box. We're good. Is the original tail lights. So these are the OEM tail lights and they all actually look in really good shape. Uh, so again, OEM tail lights, guys, I believe these are worth about 150 used in the used market. Um, these are packaged really nice. I could probably even ship these out. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to pay for shipping, I think something like this would be about 40 to 50 bucks. <laughs> okay guys, so the next, well, there's actually so much boxes in here, guys. Um, so the next thing is gonna have to be um, this guy right here, which I believe is just the floor mats. These look like to be the rear floor mats in actually good shape. Again, um, since I, I actually would like these floor mats, but since I said everything in this trunk is for you guys, these are brand new floor mats it looks like. So um, yeah, if you guys are local, it looks like we have a set of brand new rear floor mats for this car. So E92 floor mats, hit me up. Now all these boxes, all these black ones, look like they could be rotors. So again, if these rotors are in good shape, I'm probably gonna put this whole brake set together. And if someone wants a full E92 brake set, I mean, there you go. Yeah, so I'd say this rotor, um, it doesn't even have a lip. So honestly, this rotor has a lot of life in it. So if you guys need a rotor, um, I'm pretty sure this whole set's pretty much good at this point. So 
full set of brake pads and rotors for someone locally that has an E92, this is yours. I mean, honestly, I'll be excited for these. So someone hit me up, come cop these. That's pretty sick. Again, some more rotor boxes. Here's another one. Uh, this one, wow, actually has a lot of life in them. I guess the previous owner just wanted to do it because he wanted to upgrade it to the drill slide ones or somebody must have told him that his rotors are almost shot, but I believe these have about like at least 50% life in them. So I believe these are pretty good, honestly. I'm not sure, but they look pretty good to me. Oh, so actually guys, you have the original muffler and the resonator. So if I want to put this thing back to stock, um, I can't imagine it costs us any more than two to 300 bucks. I'm actually really happy he kept all that stuff for us. Definitely want to be probably putting this back on since it is the daily. And, uh, I don't know what this one is. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Okay, okay. So it looks like we have some carbon fiber, carbon fiber grills for the E92. Uh, it looks like a pre-LCI one. Um, so that looks pretty good. I think this is fake carbon fiber, but I mean, honestly, still pretty dope. These are free as well. Like I said, everything else in here is free, guys. So first person that hits me up, get some free E92. I, I believe these are like hydro dripped uh, carbon grills. All right, over here, um, these do feel like the mirror caps, and uh, I believe I'm gonna keep these just for my side mirrors, um, just because, I mean, the ones I have right now are in pretty beach shape. Yeah, these look so much better. I'd definitely like to put the OEM ones back on. And obviously, guys, since it has H&R lowing springs, I'm assuming these are the original springs on the car. If anyone needs the original springs, make sure to hit me up. Okay, actually, there's a little, there's a little mini box in here. I don't really know what this is exactly, but, Oh, no way, dude. Wait, guys, hold on. Is this something we wanna shoot on this channel? I believe it's an e-chassis retrofit. Okay, guys, I think I might, I might put this on for the sake of the video or should we give this away? This is, this is actually super cool. I think these are over $100 and this is a brand new kit. At least, that, yeah, it's a brand new kit, guys. That is crazy to make, basically make it feel like an F chassis. Wow, that is that is pretty awesome. I am a man of my word, guys. So we are gonna be giving this away. I just cannot believe something like, uh, it's a modification, like a $100 brand new modification. Um, either I do like some kind of giveaway on this one. I think I'm gonna do a giveaway on this one, guys, because this is a pretty sick modification. I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, guys, we do have the original plates. I'm gonna go ahead and slam it down here. Please don't spiders, please don't spiders, please don't. Oh, hold up. Oh my God, I almost broke this button here now as far as this muffler and this resonator i'm going to take it out of the car just for trunk space but uh definitely going to be slapping these on hopefully in the near future mainly because this car obviously it does sound good with the whole resonator muffler delete but since it is a daily i do want it to be quiet plus i want to have no issues with cops this is a daily so um yeah we're definitely going to be detailing this thing pretty soon i want to give it a good wash but i am afraid it's going to flood the interior again he told me as soon as you wash this car the interior is going to get flooded so first things first guys i really want to figure out what's going on with the drainage on this car if if you guys can actually help me with that, that'd be amazing. Uh, before we actually wash the car, he told me the paint's actually in great shape. He got it ceramic coated and polished, paint corrected, everything. So I believe the paint's in pretty good shape. It's just unfortunately, I can't clean it to see it until uh, we get that fixed. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff out of the trunk so we can just clear up the trunk space. So yeah, guys, just like that, we have a new daily on the channel, and uh, yeah, I'm stoked for it, I'm not gonna lie. So obviously, the new videos are not gonna be on this car primarily. Whatever I get for this car, I end up getting, I'm gonna try to do in a package video to where if I'm gonna do a bunch of M conversions to this thing, I'm gonna try to do it all in one video. It is the new daily, and a lot of you guys still have E92s, and I feel like I'm gonna make this the best E92 I've ever owned. Um, actually, personally, I haven't really owned much E92s that weren't uh, M cars. Um, well, I've only owned two E92 M3s in my lifetime, and I currently have one of them. And then uh, I believe I've actually never owned an E92 335, I don't think. And I've never owned an E92 328. I think my brother has, but not me. So I think, right? Like, that's crazy. So I'm gonna be modifying this as my first ever E92 328. And it's gonna be super sick, but trust me, guys, we are looking for a new build. And this is that moment where uh, I actually read all your guys' comments and a lot of you guys wanna see a B58 or an X5 or something like that on this channel or a Z4. So that being said, actually a lot of you guys even want that V8 twin turbo from the five series and the six series. So I'm gonna be the lookout on Copart, whatever that can find a good deal on that actually seems pretty sick, pretty legit. I'll end up bidding on it and hopefully be getting a new build on the channel very, very, very soon. But yes guys, I am so happy for this new chapter in our lives and uh, the i3, I'll keep you guys posted, it did go through but we're just waiting for the money. So once that comes in, I'll tell you guys what happened at that exactly. But uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, that's gonna have to conclude this video. I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.